Putting a puzzle together is a fun activity as a warmer to reveal the lesson topic of the day. In fact, solving puzzles helps reinforce existing connections between our brain cells. It also increases the generation of new relationships. This in turn improves mental speed and thought processes. Jigsaw puzzles are especially good for improving short-term memory. Here, I'm using a puzzle as a part of farm animals lesson. The puzzle will be followed by presentation of the language, listening and sequencing of old McDonald had a farm song, counting, coloring, and a memory game. In my previous video, I shared how to make a puzzle in Google Slides. But Jamboard has limited features compared to Google Slides. It doesn't have ruler and guides to divide the image into puzzle pieces, and it doesn't allow us to copy-paste the pieces from Google Slides. Hence, I tried a different way using snipping tools that is available in most computers to do the job. Okay, let's begin! Start the puzzle making in Google Slides as I explained before in previous video. After you're done using the ruler and guides to create a grid on top of the image, then use the snipping tool to snip individual pieces, save them to your folders to be inserted later in Jamboard. Continue making the grid in Google Slides using the shapes as shown in my last video. Then, after you finish, use the snipping tool to snip the finished grid and save it. Finally, you are ready to insert the snip grid and puzzle pieces to Jamboard. Insert the grid first and enlarge it. Then, insert all puzzle pieces and put them around the grid. Even though making puzzle in Jamboard has to go through Google Slides first and it seems like it's not very practical, but it's still worth the effort since Jamboard is very easy and simple platform to use by little children. I prefer Jamboard with plain interface to be used with very young learners to avoid them being too overwhelming with too many features like in Google Slides. You're done! Finish!